guides you. The scriptures say that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Why? Because when these things start coming to pass, you're going to know that, look, the reason why these things are coming to pass is because of the fact that the Most High said this. This prophecy is written, and the Lord said that this was going to happen, and that was going to happen. And when you see these things happening, then you know that, that the end is near. But these so-called preachers out there, and these so-called niggas, I'm going to call them niggas, that claim to be Israelites, that claim to be leaders among Israel, they're not teaching you of what's coming. All they're doing is keeping you in a deep sleep. They're not warning you of who the enemy is. They're not warning you of things to come. They're not warning you of, of, the, of, of the impending danger that the Most High said was going to come upon this nation. They're promising you good times. They're promising you a, a, a life eternal here in this, in this society, so to speak. They're promising you that if you go to college and you get a better job, you're going to do better. That you can, you can, you, you can uh, somehow better yourself in a society where the Most High puts you in to suffer uh, uh, curses and slavery. Escape the curses. Right. Good. It's like uh, they're telling you you can escape the curses that the Lord put on you. Right. And you can't escape the curses that the Most High put on you. You were put here to serve slavery. You were not put here to do good. You were not put here to get a college education. You were not put here to get a scholarship, to play football, to play basketball. You were put here to suffer. That's why the majority of you, that even the, the ones of you that get a, a so-called scholarship, but the majority of you that get into some type of business or some type of place where you, where you are, are prospering, by the time you die, you lose everything. That's part of the curses. Curse shall thou be when thou comest in, and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. It says, more to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, yeah. sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Yeah. Verse 11, the last verse. Moreover, by them is the servant warned. Right, moreover, by them, by the precepts, by the truth, by the prophecies, by the judgments, is thy servant warned. Mm -hmm. Now, who was the ones that do the warning? The prophets. The Lord have, have put it in our spirit to go out there and to warn you of things that are coming to pass. Okay? And in keeping of them, there is great reward. And in keeping of them, there is great reward. What did Peter ask Yahweh after, after they gave up everything? What are we going to receive? In other words, what, what is our reward going to be for us giving up our lives? For us giving up our, our wives? For us giving up our houses? For us giving up our children, for us giving up everything. And Yahweh shall said, in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit upon his throne, you also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Because all of Israel, they we all all the men of Israel are gonna be kings. Alright? That's gonna be the reward, the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Okay? That was it. Alright, now go to Jeremiah six and ten mm -hmm. and um read that. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 10 to, to whom shall I speak and give warning that they may heart that they that they may hear it says behold their ear is uncircumcised mm -hmm. we read that again it says to whom shall I speak and give warning right so Jeremiah is asking a question to whom shall I speak and give warning that that they may hear that they may hear why? Because you have certain uh, people out there that are destined to be part of the elect, that are destined to be saved, to be delivered. But in order for them to be delivered, they have to be sealed. How are they going to be sealed? By this word. Right? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised. Their ear is uncircumcised. But when they turn to the Lord, those of the elect, the Most High takes that uncircumcised ear or the, the, uh, the, the, makes the, their heart circumcised, the circumcision of their flesh, heart is their heart. which is their heart. And he takes that, that spirit off of you so that you can hear and understand the truth. Go ahead. It says, And they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them as a reproach. Right, because a lot of you mock the word of the Lord. That's why when these things happen, when, when martial law is implemented, when the, when the chip, the microchip is implemented, when Iran goes to war with the U.S. and, and uh, uh, Israel gets involved, when, when our race wars are breaking out in the streets, when there's famine in the streets, when all hell is breaking loose, we're going to be laughing at you. 
we're going to be laughing at you because the Most High is going to be laughing at you. Because right now, the Lord has given you warning from us. He said, what did He say? Given them warning from me. And because you're not listening and you're not taking this into consideration, the Most High is going to jack you up. And you niggas out there like the Discomforter, Lahab, Bubble Eye Blackfish, Nathaniel 7, you're going to get jacked up too if you don't change your ways. All these these so-called uh, 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 self prophet uh, Abu, you're going to get caught up in that bullshit too. False Prophet 666, you're going to get caught up in that bullshit too. And any of you clowns that's following those clowns, you're going to get caught up right along with them. Because the times that are coming are serious times. And we've been warning you for, for the longest. We've been telling you these things are coming. A lot of you have been mocking us. A lot of you have been playing games. A lot of you have been watching the, the, the shows and, and taking light of it. You haven't been taking heed to the warning. The Most High is going to deal with you. The Most High is going to jack your ass up. You keep thinking that the Most High is playing. You keep thinking that the things that we're saying to you are just idle words. You keep taking it as, as, as if it's a thing of nothing. And the Most High, going, He's going to jack your ass up. And that's the bottom line. And these, these other clowns too, whatever. The, uh, 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 the, the um, uh, um, 14th Street homos, as we call them. You niggas, you niggas need death, man. Bottom line. Especially that Jamaican dude. A little short Jamaican dude. You can't, you can't call a black woman a slut. You can't call her a slut. She's our queen. They're, they're our queens. Nigga, nowhere in the scriptures they ever speak about uh, the black woman being a queen. First and foremost. Not in Israel. And the only black uh, uh, woman that was a queen, which was a Thalia, was a wicked bitch. And that wicked bitch killed the heirs of the throne. Almost all of them except for one. Alright? So don't come with that queen bullshit. That ain't nothing more than the worship of the queen of heaven. And you niggas are... Straight up your fucking head stuck up the black woman's ass, man. That shit is unfucking believable, man. All the shit that the black women have done to the so-called black men and the rest of the tribes and you and, and the other women of the other tribes. And you still are having your head stuck up that black bitch's ass, man. It makes no goddamn sense. You might as well just say that the white man can be saved. The bullshit that you guys are teaching. And, and it, we're too late in the game for that bullshit, man. We're, we're at the end of this thing, man. The things that should be coming out your mouth right now is the prophecies, the end things, the missiles, the, 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 the crisis that's about to come and hit America. Those are the things that should be coming out your mouth. Not no bullshit or get a good job or you gotta treat your queens right. The, the, the queens, the queens. You got something, brother? No, I'm finished. All right, go ahead. It says... It says, Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. They have no delight in it. Okay? That's the point of that. That's the first time. I, th I think, uh, we read one more, I think there's one more verse. Tonight. Said, Therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord. Right, so Jeremiah said he was full of the fury of the Lord. Just like we're full of the fury of the Lord. We're pissed off, man. You goddamn right we pissed off. We stood up under this goddamn devil, man. And you niggas ain't crying, for, uh, you know? All these guys out here that are supposed to be the, uh, men of the Lord, supposedly, they're not crying for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. They're not, they're not complaining about things that are happening. What did the Most High say? He said that, 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 that uh, he listens to the souls that complain to him continually. <clears throat> if you make it in this society, <coughs> you're not going to be complaining. If you're complacent in this society, you're not going to be complacent. Receive your consolation. <laughs> right, because you have received your consolation, as the brother said. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, Therefore I am full of the fury of the Lord. I am weary with holding in. I am weary with holding in. We're tired of this bullshit. We're tired of the so-called white man ruling over us. We're ready to take this devil down. But we're waiting for the Most High to get the go-ahead. Go ahead. I will pour it out upon the children abroad. I will pour it out upon the children abroad. Because a lot of you, two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Westerners and Puerto Ricans, you're going to get jacked up. Okay? And upon the assembly of young men together. All right, so now go from there. there there's a lot more in that, 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 that uh, uh, um, chapter there. But go from there to the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, and the 7th verse. And that's the job of a prophet.